all right guys this is gold and it's uh, four chart now you can see gold are uh, exactly near resistance line so now here you can see we have seen price was rejecting from this area and uh, form a resistance now here we have seen multiple rejection and here we have seen multiple rejection so similarly we have seen price are near resistance right now you can see price are uh, running an uptrend but exactly they are looking for a retracement from this resistance line all right so somewhere here so in that case we are not looking for buyer right now why because price are near this resistance line now question is that in which direction today we will go for the buy direction or toward the sell direction so let me explain now here we have seen this large point from this area this gap here you can see more than 1000 near near 1000 point in between this area right now price are running so in that case we must find out some another supporting level so where is the most recent uh, respecting area now here we have seen uh, just a minute let me draw you somewhere here somewhere here yeah now you can see here we have seen multiple rejection from this area here have you seen multiple rejection rejection somewhere here rejection right so means this is a supporting line so let me show you in a small time frame like uh, h1 uh, here you can see h1 price are respecting 20 here exactly when we drawn another line and here we have seen price near moving average 20 exponential moving average 20 exactly right so that is why we need a breakout remember for the sell and uh, let me show you in a 15 minute chart how it should look like that now i can see this is 15 minute chart in 15 minute chart we have seen price are running in a range what is the range ah uh, this is the range all right so price are running in this range right now all right so that is why if you want to go for sell we need a breakout in this area so what is the level level is four three two uh, six let's say zero round figure forty three thousand two hundred sixty is a supporting zone and we need a breakout for the sell remember if you wanna enter for the sell you just place your sl little more above this supporting zone and the target will be somewhere here all right or you can place like one is to two ratio all right now big question is there and another big question is there if price is running in this range if price is running in this range right now we have seen price just the nearest supporting area supporting line so in that case if you not enter for the buy we need a confirmation right buy confirmation let me zoom a little more here yeah, now you can see this is the range of this market all right now here if you wanna enter for the buy in this area so we must wait in 15 minutes there are 20 moving average are there we are looking for a breakout this 20 moving average so that will be our buy opportunity all right so you place your sl just a little more below this previous uh beer scandal and the target will be somewhere here right you never knows which uh, direction market will go but in between this area we need a confirmation we need a buy confirmation for the buy we are looking for a stochastic crossover don't enter blindly remember i'm telling again and again don't enter blindly we need a buy confirmation first we need a stochastic crossover like somewhere here we have seen stochastic crossover we have seen here stochastic crossover and exactly we are looking for a stochastic crossover and at that time we need a bullish candlestick pattern uh, this is number one uh, confirmation next confirmation we are looking for a bullish candlestick pattern basically i use five most important candlestick pattern so that candlestick pattern i'm exactly looking for in this area if among 
five candle stick pattern if one candle stick pattern are appearing in this area so definitely i'll go for buy all right so my target will be somewhere here and or you can do the money management by one to two ratio all right and then next so uh sorry if price break this level if fail to continue toward upside if fail all right if continue toward the downside then where is our entry point for the entry point we are looking for a breakout candle all right that is called breakout trading strategy uh for the buy that will be a bounce back trading strategy means they are bouncing from moving average 50 have you seen it that is a bounce bouncing trading strategy and for the sell we are looking for a breakout trading strategy what is the breakout we are looking for a candle breakout candle this supporting zone all right so once they appear i'll place my sell order a little more below that candle but remember in that case when exactly we are using breakout candlestick pattern at that time we are not looking for a stochastic confirmation at that time stochastic has stay oversold or overbought zone all right so that will be my sell opportunity so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching